Notion's wiki feature combines the flexibility of pages with the structure of databases. One view acts as a standard page where you can display any block wherever you want. And then other views display only the child pages that occur within that page, just as you'd see pages as items within a standard database. And like any database, for those views, you can choose a layout and assign filtering, sorting, and grouping rules among various other database settings. You can also create linked views of wikis, just as you can create linked views of any standard database. And if you've seen any of my other resources, you know that my number one rule is to utilize the structure of databases for all information in your workspace rather than freely entering content. So you can imagine how much I love the ability to do both within Notion wikis. But there's actually a hidden capability of wikis that make them extra useful. It's the reason I recommend using a wiki as the top level page and the resources database within my bulletproof framework that's so widely implemented by Notion users. I'll explain that hidden feature along with some critical steps to take when initially configuring wikis. And within the description of this video, you'll find a link to a template with those configurations already in place. Of course, members of Notion A to Z can already access that template. But let's start with the fundamentals of Notion wikis. Within any page that's not a database item, you can click on the three dotted menu at the top right and choose Turn into Wiki. And that's going to make the page full width and add a line below the page's title. At the top right is a search button, which you can click to prompt Notion's standard search feature, but it's pre-filtered for the current page. And at the top left is a view picker, just like you'd see in a standard database. The default home view is that freeform page view that's unique to wikis. It displays all blocks within the page, including headings, callouts, and dividers, along with the subpages. You can arrange the blocks however you like, just like any Notion page. And then the other views, including the default and others you create, are database views. They display only the wiki's subpages, structured as database items. And as with any database, you can choose a layout, add sorting, filtering, and grouping rules, and add and selectively display properties. The default All Pages view displays all pages within a table, and then the Pages I Own view displays only the pages where the viewer is designated as the owner, which I'll explain momentarily. To wiki items, you can add any of Notion's standard database properties, but wikis also contain two special properties that can be hidden but not deleted. The owner property is a person property that's populated by default with the user who creates the wiki. This is that property that informs the default Pages I Own view. Page owners can choose a date through which the page remains verified, and verified pages will show a blue check. And then upon expiration, page owners are notified to re-verify the page. And when you open a wiki item as a page, its properties display horizontally rather than the vertical arrangement of standard database items. And you still have the option to selectively display or hide properties. So let's talk about that special capability of wikis. When you create a page in Notion, you can make it a database. But if that page is part of a database, it can't in itself become an inner database. So as a workaround, we've had to create databases within database items. And that convolutes the workspace and really undermines my database-centric methodology. But wikis actually solve this problem. If a page contains a full-page database within it when you convert it to a wiki, then that database becomes an item of the wiki. And that's enormously beneficial for managing master and secondary databases within a workspace. But there's a critical caveat to using databases as items of a wiki. You have to have a full page database in place when you convert the page to a wiki. Then after creating the wiki, you can duplicate any database that's already in place, but you can't bring one in from outside the wiki. The latest version of my Bulletproof workspace uses two wikis. The first is the Resources database, which is the catch-all database for documents, non-master databases, and items that don't fall into a master database. And then the top-level HQ page contains all contents of the workspace, including Resources, which is a wiki, and other master databases. So that means in addition to having databases within wikis, we have a wiki within a wiki. Resources is a wiki and an item of the HQ wiki. And because a database or wiki can't be added to an existing wiki, we need to follow a few preliminary steps when configuring a Bulletproof workspace. So we create the top-level HQ page, and then within HQ, we create a page called Resources. And then also within HQ, we add an empty full-page database called Database Blueprint. And then within that Resources page, we create another empty full-page database also called Database Blueprint. 
And then we can convert that resources page to a wiki and then convert the outer HQ page to a wiki. And that gives us a wiki within a wiki. And each of those wikis contains a boilerplate database that can be easily duplicated when we want to add a database as an item of the wiki. So for you to add to your workspace or reference for validation after doing it yourself, I have a template available with these configurations already in place. And of course, it's available to all members of Notion A to Z, along with the full bulletproof template with all of the related and templatized master databases. If you haven't joined A to Z, we'd love to have you on board so you can make the most of Notion.